I'm making this video under protest, so uh, Hope says that, that I should make a video on this, so I'm doing it. And you're about to see that if you didn't think we were rednecks here, we're rednecks. This is a uh, 0.6 mil doculamp, and like I said, I'm doing this wrong, so y'all are going to have to just acknowledge Josh is doing it wrong, and crappy video. Oh, well. One thing I will explain to you guys is, you know, we include this doculam, not actually this one, but we include... This is the thin stuff. We include, um, in a lot of our kits, we do include yeah. 1.6 mil doculam in our bots, drifters, you know, some of our glow planes. And so people are like... How do I paint it? How do I paint it? Color? So this is how you give it color. Notice I have rolled it out so adhesive side is up. I've got it tied down. There's a slight breeze here. That's the part of the problem here. That's why I'm telling you don't do this the way I'm doing it. You should lay it out on a piece of foam board and tape it off on the edges and, you know, get it laid down. Because I've got wrinkles in it so it's not going to lay down real good. But the bottom line is we don't want to give it a heavy coat because the paint is in fact very heavy and what paint is this that you're using on the light stuff this is the good stuff this is design master so this is if you're doing free flight and you want the really light stuff that's what you want to go for if you're doing it has the highest opacity of any paint i've worked with yeah if you're um, everybody recommends it and for good reason uh, if you're not worried about weight go doing, with yeah regular spray paint this is the stuff for those who are weight conscious because it is very very light compared to other paints it also costs twice as much literally twice as much so a lot of your free flight guys will use it if they're weight conscientious um because they're doing competition which is the reason why we're using it is this is going to be it's for a contest it's for a contest airplane all right, now, this is not the greatest paint job. I'm not trying to get it perfect. Uh, and this will, as, as cruddy of a paint job as this is, this will, in fact, give uh, surprisingly good results. We'll show what it looks like afterwards. Uh, but we're going to let it dry for a couple, for uh, just, it only needs to dry for about two minutes, and then you can actually start using it. Um, so, obviously, the paint is on top of the adhesive, the adhesive will actually seep through the paint when you apply heat. Um, and so you get a, a surprisingly nice result. So um, the next thing I'll do is we'll be inside and I'll show you some tricks that you can play with this, with this particular covering that you can't, cannot get away with with others. Uh, so anyway. Okay, so this is a, uh, an E20 ramrod wing. And what we can do is we're going to cover it with doculam that I have cut to size. The glossy side is out. That's the non-adhesive side. So I'm just going to tack it down. And one thing this lets you do is um, if you do this right, you'll have some scrap that you can use to patch the airplane anytime. Um, anything goes wrong, you know, crashes. And so basically you just use this like monocoat. This is on low heat. Now the thing that I do with this covering is go all the way around like so and just start closing up the gaps around the edges like this. Now ultimately, very important, we are going to tack the film down to each rib. Uh, there are a lot of people who don't like to do that. 
um, and those people have bent ribs. So, tack your film down to the covering, just bite the bullet and do it. Um, the result is much stronger airplanes, uh, more flutter resistance, and also uh, you don't have ribs that are buckled all over the place. Now what I'm not going to do is tack it down to the ribs until we put the covering on top of the wing because I just feel like the, the process flow is better if you wait. Thing I will reiterate once more is we are doing this on low heat because this stuff shrinks very aggressively. Okay, what we're going to do next is something you're going to consider outrageous, which is I'm going to cover the top of this wing in one piece of film. So, we're adhesive side up right now, we're going to flip it upside down. You can see that we have dihedral breaks and we're going to manage to get this stuff to shrink down so that the wrinkles and sags go away at those dihedral breaks because this film will actually let you do this. You can't do this with monocoat or anything else like that but thin laminating films will let you do that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to tack down the film to all of these ribs and then we'll start doing it on the top as well. We'll notice in advance I've already secured the film to the dihedral ribs on top and bottom. And this is actually going to start shrinking the film down as we're doing this. We'll use a heat gun at the end as needed. Uh, this film is very thin. So it does not need a whole lot of heat to shrink, so a lot of times you don't even need a heat gun. I'm not sure how well this shows up, but you can see the bottom is virtually wrinkle free. We probably have some warps that we'll have to get rid of, uh, but that can be done later. At this time we're going to go and we're going to start doing the same process up on the top. The top more than likely will require application of a heat gun just to ease that last bit of shrink that you got to get in there.
All right, so we had a little bit of trouble with the film coming up at the dihedral brakes, but got it squared away. And you can see all in one piece. Beautifulness. All right, so this is Hope's finished ramrod. I mean, I did the covering on it because she doesn't really like working with irons on, on these. Plus, we we're trying to do the whole tutorial thing. Um, but anyway, uh, here it is. Looks pretty nice. Good flying. Uh, these are good flying airplanes. But I just wanted to show you know this is what the result ends up looking like with the painted doculam. So. Anyway, questions, comments, put them in the comments section below, and we'll see you later. Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.